when last did you look at it, gents? Because, I mean, we, we live in a time where women have earned and uh, taking ownership of their own voices. Where they can come to you. They can say to you on Twitter, give me a baby. Mm, mm. They can come to you face to face. Like that white like, lady. <laughs> oh, I want you to think. <laughs> I want you to think. I want you to think. Come quick. Come quick. Come quick. Hey, can you do that? <laughs> she goes, can you do that? <laughs> come back here. <laughs> So, the, so, we, so we live in a time where women can't do that, and I think it's, it's, it's dope. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hinda, Varmini, welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. Today I'm chilling with the beautiful and the talented Candice. Fuck, I always fuck up your surname, man. It's Muricelle. What's your Muricelle, name? Muricelle, yes. Yes. What were yes. you going to say? I don't know. <laughs> Muri, Muri, what, 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 something? Muricelle, baby. Muricelle. Yes. How are you doing, love? Good, how are you? Dude, last time I saw you, bro, like, who would have thought you'd be here, man? Yeah. You, you knew me when it was still the unknown fiery pits of figuring who I am. Yes, yes. Yeah. I remember you were very adamant that... Um, because you're asking me, you're like, yo, Max, so I want to get into the to the industry. Mm. But I don't want to be known as like an it girl, you know? I yeah. want people to respect me for my craft. Absolutely. You still stand by that? 110%. Um, if anything, I think my work speaks for me. Mm. And that's how I want to be known. Mm. Um, and I mean, it is very difficult, especially when you're a woman that looks like I do. Yeah. <laughs> to, to maintain... What does that mean? No, look, when you're an attractive woman, fully figured, all of these things, yeah. it's very easy for you to get caught up in the midst oh, of, okay. of yeah, being yeah, yeah. A, a hot chick yeah, yeah. on the block, yeah. or the newest kid on the block, or trying to be popular, trying to be famous on the block, and um, the work gets disregarded. Who do you say, who do you think is it girls right now? Who would you say? It girls right now. I think we've done away with the it girl culture, ironically. you kidding. You, you know why I say that? It goes always came from a point of them seeming so exclusive mm. that they were untouchable. And social media has breeded some kind of familiarity that it's not, I, I won't say there's a level playing field, but no one is, is, is untouchable now. No one's far. No one is, um, and that's a good thing because we want familiar people, want uh, recognizable faces to become relatable. Yeah. So to say that we still have the whole it girl phenomenon, mm. I don't think it is as, as it's as, pertinent is what it used to be but if i had to i mean without a shadow of a doubt i would look i can't even call bonang an it go because she's too gone yeah she's no, no, gone no, no, bonang's no, no. gone she, she's gone bonang's Done gone with us. Done with Mombata's that. gone wouldn't you say mitlali is an it go probably that I, mm-hmm. I i think so i think so um but again it, it's also about knowing what someone's value proposition is because that's why for me the it go came from a point of disregarding the work yeah. it was all aesthetic it was mm. all aesthetically driven and that might be the case with Michlali mm. um, but we do know that strategically she's a hard working woman as well so I don't want to box someone as saying because mm. I think it, it really does strip away the, the integrity of what people do I mean she shows a bum and she's the bum trends the whole day no, whole she, no she breathes <laughs> <laughs> she breathes Michlali effects <laughs> You breathe, <laughs> and Twitter comes to a standstill. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like what happened with the Lewis Hamilton? Don't don't look, yeah. and and that's a cool thing to have that that reach, to have that, and but also one thing that I think should also be important, even in the midst of someone becoming popular on social media, um, that doesn't necessarily equate to impact. Mm. And I'm not, and I'm, again, don't read me wrong, yeah. um, but Twitter is not South Africa. Yeah. Instagram is not South Africa and it's mm. definitely not a projection of what the world is looking to for role models, it girls and public figures. Mm. But without a shadow of a doubt, does she have incredible impact, reach? With, yeah. 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 And I think it's a phenomenal place to be in. Yeah. She's got the market like patty in the palm of her hands. Was it a conscious decision for you to say, okay, cool, I want people to know me as, you know, for my craft? Yeah. Well, what made you decide that? Um... That's always been my trade. My trade has always been hard work. My brand has always been hard work. You're um, a brand now. Get brand. <laughs> so when I say my brand, it's what I'm known as. So before, so anyone that knows me well enough, yeah, and, yeah, they, yeah. and they know me before the Yo TVs and oh, all that shit, jazz. Yeah. Hey, Peace on the it's waras, waras, waras. I don't know why Lane's calling me. Turn it off. <laughs> Sorry, man. Yeah. No stress. Um, but um, 
from a very young age, from my Pee Wee Playhouse days. Yeah. Takalani Sesame watching days. You started on Takalani? No, I, no, I wasn't on them. Oh. Just watching them, consuming oh, them. Oh, oh, yeah, so I'm yeah. saying from my from my little one days. Mm. Um, the value of hard work has always been instilled in, in my family, uh, in the spaces that I've occupied, from the schools I've attended to the activities that I participated in. It was the first principle of order. And I think since then, it, it's been how I've... Uh, how I, it's how I walk. It's how I move. I move in and around hard work. So let's say I'm your agent, right? Yes. And I come to you and I'm like, yo, listen, Candace, we're moving to a time where, uh, you know, uh, people don't give a fuck about your craft, right? Oh, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. And you got the numbers, you're cool. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I'm like, yo, you got to show your, your bums more. You got to be more out there. You got to be mm. like, you know, trending like Miss Lally does. Mm -hmm. And nobody gives a fuck what you do. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to get paid. Mm. What do you say if, if I'm your agent and I tell you that? The day my agent has that conversation with me is the day I don't have an agent anymore. Because mm. that means the money far surpasses the purpose. Okay. And I don't care for that. I don't care for that. I work with people. I work with a team that truly believes in the work. And they believe, they, they believe and they walk with foresight and faith. Mm. So from where they stand, they know that, okay... Where the, the, the deals we take now, the conversations we're having now, are setting her up for something bigger. Mm. So if you're talking about showing bums mm. and cleavage and all that jazz, yeah. uh, just to make a quick buck, you don't believe in me anymore. You mm. stop believing in the purpose. Yeah. And, you've, and you've lost the vision. And you can't work with people that don't share the same vision. You yeah. can't do that. You could try. It's not going to be successful though. Mm. And, and so I, you'd rather I, go hungry than to sell your soul for lack of a better word easily 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 and I've had offers I've had offers for roles in films for roles in series and this was all of what two three years ago yeah and it the, the opening I remember one specific one was a, a series by a brilliant brilliant production um, and they asked me to come and audition and I read the first scene she she walks so the character gets out of bed she's in a lingerie and um, she's having a conversation with her partner mm. and I'm like okay so now I can gauge why they would want to cast me and why would uh, but I didn't understand why it was necessary for her to get out of bed stand in front of the mirror in her lingerie yeah for that conversation to be had I believe especially from a theatre background nudity should be earned mm. So Fuck. on my social media... Buzz, buzz. I like that. <laughs> on my social media, you'll never see me just strutting out there, bums out, until I feel like I'm, I'm confident enough to do it. Don't get me wrong. Mm. If I wanted to, I definitely would. But I do feel like... Um, and shout out to all the women that are liberated enough to say, yes, I'm going to put this out, that out. And we've got artists like Lizzo, mm. who doesn't care one tiny bit about what people say about her. And she's willing to share skin and all of it. Yeah. And I love it. And I support women that do that. But from my standpoint, I feel like the day I put out a cheek or two on my timeline, I would have earned it because mm. it's founded on respect. So people know my work. Yeah. People know what I'm about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And people can say, she's done this production, she's done that, 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 that. So for me to do a, um, a series and the first scene you engage with the character is lingerie. Yeah. People are going to miss the point of the scene. Mm. They, they're going to miss the whole thing because it's just that I'm cast as a woman with a fat ass. And you took it down. I mean, you took it down. I yeah. did. I did. I did. I did. And I mean, at the time I was how old? I was 23. Yeah. I was 23. What I series was this? Nah, I can't say what series ah, it was. Ah, come on. Nah, I can't say what series it was. <laughs> I'm trying to work with those people again. <laughs> what are the what are the series and movies have you turned down? Oh, they've been a number. I recently um, was asked to be released from a film. Okay. Um, because I felt like when all is said and done, the rate is not okay. It's not okay. The money. The money. The money was not okay. And for everything I accept, I re-perpetuate the exploitation culture in yeah. this industry. Yeah. So if a Candice Murisele with all of her accolades and her credentials and all of that jazz can accept this amount, then they can talk to any young aspiring artist 
and give her the same, if not half. Mm. And she'd take the job because she's going to be in cinemas. So did that hit home when the whole Vatiswa um, scandal came out, you know? Yeah. It hit home. Front no? and center, front and center. I was part of the conversation earlier on because her and I had been having these conversations um, quite regularly, um, especially when we bump each other on set and whatever. And I remember um, asking her, I don't, I, or rather saying to her, I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Mm. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Mm. Um, especially when you derive from a, when you're a purist at heart. Yeah, as far yeah, as the yeah. craft is concerned and you Dude, as purists we get fucked, eh? Yeah, as purists, it's, it's hard. It's hard when the fucked, craft is, sh- is stripped away. Mm. And you, all you want to do is create. You lose purpose. Like, you, you, you lose it. So mm. I was just like, ugh. So I'd have these conversations that I'd confide in her. And I'd be like, Ma, this is what's going on. This is the, the decisions I'm making. Um, and she, she's always supported me every step of the way. So when she came out with that open letter, I respected it 110%. Um, so it, it, some things may have been misunderstood, misconstrued. And as that, that does happen, social media will always be open to gray area. It's 140 characters. It's 140 characters. Um, isn't 240? 280? Oh, yeah. it, I'm yeah. old school. It's, yeah, it's, 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 they, they moved it up, it's still there and it's so limited. Yeah. It's so limited. And an open letter does give so much room to be able to express how you feel in as many ways as possible, but it's still going to be open to interpretation. Yeah. And for as long as we can do that and we're not opening a dialogue, we're going to be running around in the same circle. Have you seen any change since that open letter? Unfortunately not. Yeah. I mean, I'll keep it 75 plus 25. No. Um, so we had a whole actor symposium, a su- uh, like a summit where we went to um, the market theater and we had uh, representations from DTI, from Department of um, Arts and Culture. Yeah. They were all there. Mm. We even had a, a man from SARS who still, can it just be said, mm. I as a freelancer, I can earn 1,000 rand for a month's work because I had one call for that month, yeah. but I'm on a SOP, mm. whatever, and I'm, I'm, I'm that, that's just a loose figure. That's just a loose figure. So I'm shooting a series, and my call rate is 2,000 rand. And they call you once. They call me once for that month. I still need to split that with my agent, and I'm still going to be taxed 25%. Hmm. So at the end of the day, my take home for the month is possibly and probably 750 rand for a month's work. I had one call, you still see me on five episodes for that month. Yeah. Because in that one call, I shot those five episodes. Yeah. So you are still seeing me every week, regularly. So I shot five episodes, I could have shot 10 scenes in that one call. Yet I'm still having to split that with my agent, with SARS. And then I'm going to say that I'm a working actress. Yeah. I'm a working artist. Yeah. So these are the things that are happening. So what do you see the solution being? Look, um, we are not the powers that be. We are, we are singing. It, look, it's almost like we're singing nursery rhymes until the teacher steps in and teaches us something different and shapes the system in a way that is of favor to us. And I mean, naturally, they always want their, their piece of the pie. But until um, the powers that be, so to speak, um, can make any form of change there's nothing we can do because mm. we're fighting a system that's bigger than us yeah so we're fighting a system that doesn't have any royalties yeah we ha- there's no regulatory board that says that from the moment you leave wits with your with your degree you are stepping into such and such a job and no fee that is below such and such an amount can say for example is mm. has been cancelled you kidding is is Dingo. No way. Is, is Dingo is no longer the need. Parker's gone. Well, he was gone a long time ago. Hey, I haven't watched it in a while. <laughs> I used to love with that. So, so they've been cancelled because um, they're not making the viewership that... The ratings are low. The, the ratings. Shit. The ratings is not what it used to be. Which is gut-wrenching. It is gut-wrenching because... Now you got to think about the crew. And that's my thing. So we have... Because even in, in this industry that we're in, you have... You would have had the same crew for the past 20 years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's always the, the same, same crew. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basher, the same camera operators, the same sound, sound guy. The same editors yeah, yeah. would have been there from the onset. Yeah, yeah. And they're now falling into a pool of unemployment at 41 years old mm. um, with no, no UIF. Benefits. Mm. No benefits, no UIF, nothing. Nothing. All he had was his weekly month, weekly. It could have been a wage, a salary, whatever his contract was. That's all he has. And now he's falling into a pool of unemployment and has to be a freelancer as a breadwinner. Hmm. At 41, 45, 50, 55. 
So when do platforms like Netflix and, and, and all these other digital platforms come into play? Are they, can they not like help in, 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 I don't know, bypassing all the bullshit? I believe they can. I really think they can, especially because um, other countries and other continents are far more advanced than what we are. Our industry is still a baby. I remember going to a talk that Dr. John Kanye had. Mm. Um, it was like a Black Panther, Black Excellence lunch. Yeah brunch kind of vibe yeah. and he was saying the biggest mistake we've made is to believe that this is even an industry wow it's not an industry if I as an actress cannot survive off of one job alone yeah it can't be an industry how many jobs do you need to survive oh gosh and I remember being taken aback when I when Pearl Tusi spoke on social media and in an interview about needing three streams of income to survive yeah. not even to to live an opulent lifestyle to survive mm. and she was on live amp and we're like yes yes still you know so, it's so weird when, when people see you on like live amp they think you're earning a shitload of money when and people see you on generations disgusted. on live amp when they see you on any platform yeah really when they see you doing this they think off of a podcast you're making a big check no no they know they know they know <laughs> no 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 i know you're probably transparent about it <laughs> yeah, yeah, and we love that yeah, yeah. but it's as soon as people yeah, see yeah, you in a yeah. place that they aspire to to pursue yeah they think it's it's all sunshine and rainbows. But the money actually comes from like gigs, the emceeing work that you get from being on a live amp. It comes or from Or like the a corporate. brand. Yeah, from corporates. But your corporate. actual call out fee is close to nothing. Yeah. Absolutely. And that's the thing. It, it's for something that can be treated as a hobby, like what we do. Um, for it to be your staple form of income is a dream because it's all it's it's a stepping stone that's for sure so you had generations what other incomes did you have so it was when i was at generation yeah um it was generations in one it, look <laughs> at some point i was and i think this was 2018 i was on yo tv selling my tunesies live amp generations all at the same time and massive metro wow i still didn't get a, it's, in all of that i still wasn't cutting a hundred thousand rand a month you kidding what? Yeah. Damn. That's five. Five shows. Of those five, three were your highest watched. Mm, mm, mm. So the highest watched kids TV show. No wonder you still stay with your mother. No. Oh, that's a choice. <laughs> oh, honey. And you would know. And you would know. No, but, that, but that's 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 complete choice. Yeah, thing. yeah, no, no. Doesn't I'm mean they ain't properties in my name, though. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna sip to that. <laughs> Shit, but that's that's hard to fathom, bro. It is, it is, it is. That's why, and we have to be very realistic about it. And it's not to say that all of them were paying me peanuts. I'm not yeah. even saying that at all. But not all of them were paying me a hundred thousand rand either. Yeah. And that's the reality. We can't sell this dream that you step into this industry and you're set. Yeah. No, 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 no. Some shows become discontinued. Your contract, yeah, fella. What happened with Generations? Why did you leave? I left by choice. And it okay. was amicable. It was really the most agreeable terms that we left on. Um, really, it, it, it was happy endings from our, uh, our separation. So it was a conversation of, look, I've been here for three years. I want to explore other avenues in this industry. Also because it was demanding. It was very demanding. I had to be there almost every day. And um, But it's what you signed up for, though. It is. It is what I signed up for. But also, um, I want to look at other mediums. I want to go into doing more series. I want to look at... Um, so when you're on Generations, more. are you contracted... Um, exclusively to them so you can't do anything else I was on call I was on an on-call basis which means that no it's not exclusively oh, to them okay. uh, but in some in some cases if you are on a global contract you are contracted to them being the first preference mm. of that time um, so if another contract does come about you just it's just about negotiating if your agent has the right conversations if there's clear conversations then yeah then you can can move and shift between different ones but it's difficult because it's time consuming and not in a bad way but you need to be present yeah um and for me I, I i got to a point where i'm just like oh my word i have a business that i want to run i have a business i've registered i, I want to get that completely off the ground but acting is your first love though acting is my first love but it's not my only love mm. and that and i couldn't sell myself short at 25 
to to still um, conform to one stream of income. Yeah, yeah. One job. It's kind of childish in this day and age. It it's yeah, it's also just shooting yourself in the foot because when the when I'm ready to tackle as many opportunities, I will be the girl from Generations. Oh yeah. And I also didn't want that because yeah. I'm a freelance artist before I'm anything. I'm a storyteller before I'm anything. I'm not Lerato from Generations. I was Lerato on Generations. Yeah. But I, there's 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 more. To but me. being in Generations is amazing. I always say it like, it's huge, bro. It's massive. It's massive. It's massive. That's why it's also very important. And from my from my understanding of the platform, just because something's not trending every weekend, yeah, or every, every week rather, yeah. every weekday at eight p.m. doesn't mean it's not making the numbers. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Because it was nine point. I think right now it's probably nine point two million strong. <laughs> You know, there's being famous and then there's being generations famous. There's been, yeah, then there's being on generations. <laughs> which, which is huge. And you were willing to let all of that go. Like, you were cool with it. It was. Yeah. I did my bit. Yeah. I, 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 I shared my portion. Mm. I gave. Um, but now it's time for me to take my time back. So what are we busy with now? Are we getting back into acting or are we working oh, on the business? Oh, my gosh. So, um, so I was very courageous enough to have a conversation with my, my agent. And I was like, look, I'm taking a sabbatical. Wow. Um, I'm taking a sabbatical from acting. Presenting, I'll still do. Um, and, um, and I have a, a show coming up in 2020, which is exciting. Two shows, rather. Coming up in 2020 that I'm hosting. Uh, Damn, Candice. It's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's, a blessed, it's a blessed season. Yeah. So those two are coming up. Um, but uh, when I asked to take a sabbatical, it was just for me to realign as a storyteller. Okay. And I had the conversation with line producers and the team at Generation then they understood as well because I really wanted to learn to play again as an actress and to just play with different characters and different facets of who I can be as a storyteller mm. um, so uh, I, I asked to take a little bit of a sabbatical but I might not there's mm. opportunities that are knocking on my door that I might actually say yeah, yeah. actually this is this is the one that I need yeah. for me to get on get on my horse again so yeah, but running the company is is the first priority what right now. What company you got? So it's called Buseta Media. So it's a youth mentorship and skills development agency. Jeez, that sounds uh, so boring. It is. <laughs> no, it's not. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. yeah. It's, 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 it's the love of my life. Mm. Other than acting. Mm. Um, and radio. Yeah, yeah. And the other parts of the art and the okay. craft. Um, but I realized that a lot of kids lack the skills to access the job market. So... Trying to put together an email is one thing that they don't know how to do, and that already is problematic. Yeah. So even if I, and that's outside of the the rapport and the register and the etiquette and all that jazz, but just being able to draft an email. Why the fuck would you want to do this? Why would I want to do this? Yeah. I uh, maybe it's because I feel like I'm called to do it. Mm. I have the I have the um I have the audience. Yeah. And. They, they, for me, there's because I remember the conversation that I had with with uh, a guy that I'm that's helping me run this, and he's like, "So what's your gain?" I'm like, mm. "He's like, how are you making a profit?" Yeah. I'm like I don't know, and it may not be the smartest thing to do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's definitely not. When did you decide? Like, take me back to the day you decided I want to do this. It's something I've been wanting to do for years. Oh, for years. it's always been in the plans. It's always been in the plans. Um, so even with a couple of friends of of, of mine. And I, when we had to do like a business proposal, yeah. uh, when we we're still studying and we we're in our final year, we had to put together a sponsorship proposal for a company. This something to this effect okay. was something we put on the table. And then my lecturer was like, ah, oh, this isn't art enough. Yeah. But needless to say, it was still something that I was very passionate about and still am. Yeah. Uh, but I'm realizing it more and more with all the emails that I get from young people, the entire email is in the subject line. The mm. whole email. Mm. So I could be the person that laughs about it, screen grabs it, puts it on Twitter and be like, oh my gosh, these kids are so misguided. Or I could be the person that guides them. Mm. I've chosen the latter. Mm. So you're like running an NGO kind of vibe. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. Uh. That's exactly what it is. And how much time does it consume of yours? Like, Look, at the moment it's difficult to navigate my time because I still want to earn an income as an MC, as a content creator, as... A future brand ambassador all of these things all yeah. of these various titles that I could hold yeah. so nurturing my relationships is something that's very important and I can't decide to 
go into a complete hiatus yeah. and abandon all of these relationships. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to play as many sides and, and, and um, avail myself accordingly. Like right now, after this, I'm going to go see a young gentleman that I'm mentoring yeah. with the surf campaign that I was doing. Um, and I'll be mentoring him throughout the week. So throughout this week, I'm taking some time off, not really attending any events, um, except the Arif, uh, the Africa Rise International Film Festival. Yeah. So that I'm going to, but all the other stuff, auditioning I'm not going to be doing, meetings I'm putting on hold. So I'm slotting in the things that I feel can and are urgent, if at all. Uh, but then the other stuff I can see next. Uh, let's talk about your love life now. Oh, oh. Hey now, ah. hey now. It <laughs> doesn't exist. <laughs> I was to say, what is that? Because <laughs> I remember last time I met you, you were single. You're still single. I am. Wow. You've yes. always met me at convenient, in like, Get little this. intervals of my life, of, of singularity, Damn. of single status. So should we pick up where we left off? No, <laughs> Mac, please. <laughs> no, thank you. Kumble <laughs> guy. Um, <laughs> Dude, what happened? What do you mean, what happened? You can't have not... I've been seeing you in like three years. There's no way you've been single for three years. doesn't mean those three years I didn't have one or two relationships. Oh, you you had? I did, yes. And then why, what happened to them? Ah, man. You were too uh, busy juggling all these gigs, ne? No, not even. Not mm. even. I make time for my partner. Okay. You you, you choose you choose how you you, you gamble your time. I, I, maybe gamble isn't the best word. Yeah. But how you manage your time. It's, it's a choice thing. Yeah. Um, so to even say to my but I'm too busy, can't see you, can't see you. No, I make time um, for the things I feel are important. Yeah. Um, gee, what are the reasons that my previous relationships have not worked out? Do you think? At first, it's compatibility. Mm. Compatibility. And sometimes you got to get real. We really do have to get real with ourselves and with our partners. Yeah. That I love you, I really do. We yeah. love each other, but yeah. are we compatible? Probably not. Mm. Um, and is it for the greater good that we go our separate ways? Absolutely. Do you believe in soulmates? Do I believe in soulmates? Oh my gosh, I believe in multiple soulmates. I don't think we Aye. have one. I think we've got platonic soulmates, so uh, people that you've met that have come into your life to um, ignite a higher purpose, and they could be just friends. Yeah. This, so they, I believe in that. I believe in um, your romantic soulmates. Yeah. I don't think we have one though. I yeah. really don't think we have one. It would be a little bit far fetched. And by divine, by God's divine intervention, I think yes, you can meet your soulmate, that one true one. But I think there's more than one. Cause what if the nigga dies? Mm. What if some? What if people die? What if your soulmate dies? I mean, if it's in God's plan, then maybe. But yeah. I think there's more than one. Do you think uh, growing up without a father has affected your relationships? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. You reckon? Yeah. But you don't have like daddy issues. It had issues, to. Man. It had to. Look, the thing is, we've also believed that daddy issues is dating an, a man that's older than you and seeking for yeah, yeah, yeah. a mature male figure yeah, yeah, yeah. to kind of fill the void. Mm. Um, but I had to define male love from scratch. From scratch. Whereas many women, and, and I, I'd like to say many, uh, not enough women, um, uh, their, their starting point and their reference of love comes from their father. Yeah. So they know how to be treated. They can see. And I mean, my sister and I have spoken about this in many interviews where we say that we've met our mother in the different roles she's played, in the different hats she's worn as a mother, as a colleague, as sister. a boss, as a sister, as a daughter. We've met her in all those spaces. We've never met our mother as a wife. Ooh. And that speaks for Ooh, how we also had to shit. define our own understanding of so what a wife is. Yeah, you don't know what a wife is supposed to be. I don't know what a wife like, is. Shit. I don't know what a wife should should feel like. What so a wife you're not wife change. material? I think even the concept of wife material is disrespectful. <laughs> oh, that is gross. <laughs> You know, someone spoke about it on Twitter. The day someone says I'm wife material, we got a problem. Because <laughs> that just means I fit into the, the, the illusions of yeah, patriarchy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nobody <laughs> want that. I don't want that. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.